Aloha everybody, welcome back to my channel, Kaiwaza with you and our journey through my Hawaiian record collection from A to Z and not entirely in alphabetical order by the, the, the uh, alphabet, but anyway, uh, today we're going to pick up where we left off on the last video. We were covering the letters X, Y, and Z. Okay, those records listed under X, Y, and Z. But first, I do have two uh, records to show you as an update that I've just picked up recently that would be filed under letters that we have already covered in previous videos. So they would have been in that. Uh, so I'll show them to you now. The first one is yet another version of uh, music from the Broadway musical and motion picture film South Pacific. Um, I used to not really collect these. I had four or five, and then I just thought, that's enough. Uh, but now, for some reason, I don't know, the past year, I just, uh, last year, just decided I wanted to have all the South Pacific uh, records. I just don't uh, want to pay a lot for them, so I'm just picking them up. If I don't have them, I'm picking them up, whatever they are, whoever they're by, for, you know, a dollar or two, and that's it. Uh, so this one I didn't have. It is Selections from Rogers and Hammerstein South Pacific by Fred Waring and his Pennsylvanians. And that's, I think, quite a lovely cover there. And this is on Capital Stereo. Happy talking, talking, happy talk. Talk about things you like to do. Some nice uh, kind of clip art sort of stuff going on here. Um, I think one day I will do a video on uh, all of my uh, Rogers and Hammerstein South Pacific records together, um, you know, just to show them all in a video. But I'm really kind of picking them up here and there now, so I kind of want to wait a while until I have more than what I have right now because there are plenty out there and they usually are pretty cheap, <laughs> you know. So, anyway, now this other album I just picked up, uh, I was kind of happy to find this. Uh, I mean, not that it's like the most amazing music in the world or whatever, but um, it's, it is very pleasant, and it is something I didn't know existed. <coughs> uh, this is South Sea Island Magic, featuring uh, some artists that I do have other albums by. Daphne Walker, George Tumahai, uh, with Bill Savesi and his Islanders. Um, they did together and separately uh, quite a lot of music. Most of it is on Viking records out of New Zealand, and I have a lot of uh, most of their music that's on Viking records. Uh, but this one I just saw recently on Armar records out of New Zealand, a different label, and it had songs. I thought, oh, it's just going to be, you know, like reissues of their earlier stuff. But it isn't. Um, it's, it's an album that they recorded of songs that they hadn't done before um, on a different label. So I had to get it. Daphne Walker, by the way, um, is quite a well-known entity in New Zealand. She's, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head whether she's a Maori or whether she's Samoan, but she's some South Pacific origin uh, and sang, it was quite a well-known singer in New Zealand and recorded a lot of music, a lot of Hawaiian music, and then sort of tropical kind of songs, some Maori songs, but a lot of Hawaiian songs. Um, and she has a really sweet, lovely voice. She did massacre the lyrics of the Hawaiian songs a lot in Hawaiian, but that's okay, whatever. Um, you know, really sweet, and I like it. So this album is nice. Uh, Daphne Walker does a really beautiful version of a song called "By At Night by the Ocean. It's not a common song. Uh, Honolulu Moon is really nice that she does. George Tumahai does Sugar Mill in Hawaii, kind of a sweet song I've never heard before, so I was happy to find this album. <laughs> cover too. Okay, and now we will resume where we left off last week under the, the uh, letter Y. 
we were looking at uh, some Japanese, a Japanese group called Ginji Yamaguchi, and uh, this is uh, more of his. I have a couple more of his records here. Um, this one, rather exciting one. I saw this a long, long, long time ago, well, like way back in the 80s in a record store. I didn't buy it because it was like $25, which I was a student. It was way too much for me at that time even though the owner had, or one of the people that worked there had held it for me, for me to look at it, which was very sweet. Uh, it was just out of my price range. Uh, and then every time I've seen it since online, it's been very, very, very expensive. Uh, and I saw it one day as like a buy it now on eBay or whatever for $25. I snatched it up immediately. And it is uh, Genji Yamaguchi and his Luana Tahitians, an album called... This album is so fabulous. I mean, the look of it and everything called Hawaii Tourist. It is a picture disc and it is a gatefold instrumental album. Music Color Records. I'm not sure there's a year on this. Uh, but let's take out the uh, the record itself. Like I said, it's a picture disc. Kodak Hula Show there. And some surfing action on the back. That's uh, just not, you know, typical sort of Hawaiian instrumental kind of music. And this is a uh, Made in Japan record. And by the way, if you ever see this one and you want to get it for cheaper, because I see it cheaper all the time, it was actually released also by Music Color Records on a different picture disc without the name of any musician, just called Hawaii Sings, which is a very odd title because um, there's no singing, it's an instrumental album. This is the same album as this one. With just a cut, there's a couple of songs on there that are not on here, and a couple that are on here that are not on there, but just a couple. Otherwise, it's the same uh, record. And I see this one quite a bit cheaper online. I don't know exactly why, but it's basically the same uh, record. So it's a picture disc. Also, uh, map on one side. And picture of Waikiki on the other. And again, it's Genji Yamaguchi. It's just he's not credited. And then last from Genji Yamaguchi. Uh, I've shown this one uh, in an update a while ago, but I want to throw it in here with this stuff too. This is a 10-inch Christmas album by Genji Yamaguchi and his Luana Tahitians. Uh, instrumentals. Great arrangements. There's like some cha-chas and really, really cute arrangements. Um, these are, it's all Christmas songs, and I love this picture. It's like the possessed child looking at the manger scene. Children of the Corn, you know, or something. It's Polydor Records. Yeah, love that one. Okay, now we have uh, yet another Japanese group here because Y is not a letter that you find in the Hawaiian alphabet, so they're not going to be Hawaiian artists unless they have some sort of different last name. This is Attractive get Skatefold also, Hawaiian, uh, I mean Attractive Hawaiian Mood. This is uh, Yoji Yamashita. This one also steel guitar instrumentals, not Hawaiian songs, but I'm assuming, uh, you know, pop, Japanese popular songs of the time period, and again, I'm not sure there's a date on this one, but we're definitely, but yeah, there is, 1972, this one is Crown Records. Here is Yoji Yamashita with Five Sounds, which is a vocal group. Um, it's a 10-inch one. 
steel guitar in Hawaii. This one's on uh, Japanese Victor, RCA Victor Records. And one more record I will show you today also from Yoji Yamashita on steel guitar. Uh, supposedly with the uh, Kayoko Ishu Singers 3. However, it's a mystery to me because this is an instrumental album. It is the right album. I mean, it goes with this cover. Um, but it's instrumental. There's no singing. There's not even like a wordless chorus going do wah do wah or whatever. So I don't know what role the the uh, Kayoko Ishu Singers 3 had in it. Maybe they were just like in the studio, you know, giving their support. But it's called um, Fresh. What is it called? Fresh Hawaii? Partially, uh, yeah, Hawaii Fresh Hawaiian Be Best 12. Fresh Hawaiian Best 12. Also on uh, Japan Crown Records. It's from 1974. Hawaiian Best 12. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, one more video should probably wrap up the X, Y, and Z. So I hope you enjoyed that, and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave me any comments if you have any of these records or any interest in them or comments or whatever. Uh, it's good to hear from you. So uh, have a good week. We will talk to you on the next video. Okay.